Many aquariums have stunning displays of coral. I found myself missing some of my brighter pins to capture their true colors. But then I found out that some coral in the wild are also missing their true colors. Check this out. I'm Randy Rogen. I am mostly a coral reef biologist. So there are definitely places when I dive where I know every single coral head, the same way you'd know your garden or your yard where you'd know every plant. After a while, what you really begin to look for are changes. You know, I notice when there's something new going on in my backyard coral reef. So Randy starts noticing these changes in this reef she dives in all the time. Certain coral, year to year, is losing its colors. So what does CO2 and the blanket have to do with any of this? Okay, Sam, let me show you what I came up with. It's a tragic love story that starts deep inside the coral tissue. So here you can see that coral actually has a partner. An algae known as a symbiote. These symbionts love to snuggle up to coral, providing sugars in exchange for the coral's yummy nutrients for the symbionts to feed on. And it's the symbionts that make the coral's brilliant colors. All happy and lovely until the blanket gets heavier and the ocean gets hotter and higher in CO2 content. Higher temperatures slow down this nutrient transfer process and more CO2 in the water makes it harder for coral to maintain its structure. The coral and symbiote relationship begins to suffer. The coral is left naked and white, or bleached. No more snuggly symbiote to shack up with. Oh, Like any breakup, coral and its symbionts can get back together. But when they don't, it's called catastrophic bleaching and can lead to coral death. So what does this ultimately mean? A change in coral's fashion statement or something deeper? No, Sam. It means that the many marine species that live in coral reefs are losing their habitats. It also means that communities that make their livelihood from coral reef tourism are in trouble. You know, it's estimated that diving in coral reefs is a hundred billion dollar annual industry in the Caribbean alone. But the major loss is to animal diversity. Coral reefs are like the rainforests of the ocean, housing a rich diversity of animal life. When the coral becomes bleached, it can no longer provide habitat for ocean life like it used to. So is this all decided? Done? The breakup is inevitable? Well, no, because at the source of that cycle are decisions we make every day about how we get around, consume, and live. And that's a good place to try and keep coral and their symbiotes together.